hi guys welcome back once again to chain you guys stopping by today i want to start by saying a big thank you to all of you subscribed to this channel we are almost at 2000 amazing subscribers 2000 amazing food lovers and i'm just so full of gratitude thank you so much for clicking that subscribe button if it's your first time here please you want to consider subscribing because we have amazing yummy recipes today i want to share with you guys this simple yet amazing multifunctional or multi purpose um, tomato paste base um, i call it multi-purpose because you can use it for so many things you can use it for your stews your soups your stir fries your jollofs anything that you need a tomato base you can use this for so let's go ahead into the recipe so of course you're going to need your tomatoes i just wash them really well and then i cut them and then you're also going to need your chopped uh, green bell peppers and then the stems of my green spices if you're in cameroon you know what we call green spices your celery your um what's the other name um i always forget their names but i'll leave it on the screen okay so you chop them and then you blend all of it together i use just one pepper as you could have seen in the bowl that had my green spicy stem because my family doesn't eat a lot of pepper when i was blending i did not put a lot of water because tomato already produces water so if you have a good blender you might not need to put even a drop of water so your boiling process does not take forever okay um there's another method of doing this that um comes up as looking a little bit easier than this one if you're interested i would share that okay just drop it in the comment section if you like to see the other way in which you can come up with your, your multi-purpose tomato base so i blended everything and then i put it in a pot and put it on the fire once it started boiling i let it boil with the pot covered for about 20 and it was like boiling like bubbling and then i came and took off the cover because i want um i want that the water should be expelled from the pot <laughs> i want that as it's boiling it should be boiling down and getting dry you'll see how the 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 quantity in the pot um starts going down with time like as i keep on checking it you'll see how the quantity reduces because it's boiling and then it's getting dry so the tomato starts thickening up okay and then from time to time you want to come in with a spoon and just stare because you can see i came in at this point and i was staring because um the under of your pot could actually start burning when you're still seeing water at the top so you would think it's okay it's not burning but it will be burning for me i used a um, non-stick pot so that also helped it will not burn but you just have to turn it just so that the water should go around and then it should dry up properly so you can see at this point after 45 minutes the pot had boiled down and we have our tomato base okay you can use this for stews for spaghetti for jollof you can use it for so many different things and it was looking so reddish and so smooth the reason why i did not blend the stems was because my mom taught me so okay that's how i grew up seeing her doing it so i did not blend the stems but i'll use it when i'm making my stew stay tuned for my fish stew recipe it will be coming up next Thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you like this video please share it with somebody you can keep this in your freezer and it will save you so much time when you want to cook it just makes cooking faster and more fun not less stressful okay thank you guys for watching i will see you guys on the next video bye subscribe